Welcome to Infigyan. Today in this video we have one very interesting and challenging question from System of Equations HMMT 2024 problem number 5. So let's get started by considering this is our equation 1, equation 2. Now we have square root x square plus y square in the denominators. So we can think about polar form substitution or trigonometric substitution. We can assume x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta. Once we will square and add, we are going to get the value of x square plus y square will be equal to r square cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. Now square root is involved, so we will consider square root both sides. So we can write a square root x square plus y square equal to plus minus r, but r is modulus, r must be positive only. So we will write here r. So value of our denominator is square root x square plus y square is r. Let's see equation 1 and equation 2 after our substitutions. So I can write equation 1 x, x is r cos theta, denominator is r equal to 7 plus 1 over r cos theta. So r and r will be over. We can write cos theta equal to 7 plus 1 over r cos theta. Let's say this is equation 3. Now we will see equation 2 after substitution. We can write r sin theta. This is y. Denominator is square root x square plus y square r equal to 4 minus 1 over r sin theta. Now again we will cancel r and r. So equation is sin theta equal to 4 minus 1 over r sin theta. This is our equation 4. I will write both the equations 3 and 4 here first. Now in LHS we have cosine theta, sin theta. So let us multiply equation 3 with cos theta. Equation 4 with sin theta. So we are going to multiply here. So let me write here uh, cos theta times equation 3 plus sin theta times equation 4. Let's see what will come out. So we are going to write cos square theta plus sin square theta in the LHS. In RHS we have to write 7 times cos theta plus 1 over r cos theta times cos theta which will give us 1 over r. 4 times sin theta minus 1 over r sin theta times sin theta minus 1 over r. Now you can see plus 1 over r minus 1 over r will be over. Left hand side is one trigonometric identity. So we can write 7 cos theta plus 4 sin theta equal to 1. Now we will take 7 cos theta to the RHS. So we will write 4 sin theta equal to 1 minus 7 cos theta. Now we will square both sides. So we will write 4 sin theta whole square equal to 1 minus 7 cos theta whole square. 4 square is 16. Sin theta whole square is sin square theta. In RHS we will use algebraic formula a minus b whole square and we will write 1 plus 49 cos square theta minus 14 cos theta. Now in place of sin square theta as we have cosine theta in RHS. 
कोसाइन थीटा एंड कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा सो वी विल कन्वर्ट साइन स्क्वायर थीटा इंटू कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा सो वी विल राइट सिक्सटीन टाइम्स वन माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा दिस विल बी इक्वल टू फोर्टी नाइन कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा माइनस फोर्टीन कॉस थीटा प्लस वन और वी कैन राइट सिक्सटीन माइनस सिक्सटीन कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा इक्वल टू फोर्टी नाइन कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा माइनस फोर्टीन कॉस थीटा प्लस वन टेक ऑल द टर्म्स टू आर एच एस वी आर गोइंग टू गेट फोर्टी नाइन प्लस सिक्सटीन सिक्सटी फाइव कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा माइनस फोर्टीन कॉस थीटा वन माइनस सिक्सटीन इज माइनस फिफ्टीन इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इक्वेशन इज क्वाड्रेटिक इन कॉस थीटा वी कैन यूज मेथड ऑफ फैक्टराइजेशन सो लेट अस स्प्लिट अवर मिडिल टर्म माइनस फोर्टीन कॉस थीटा माइनस थर्टी नाइन कॉस थीटा प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव कॉस थीटा माइनस फिफ्टीन इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ वी कैन इजिली टेक कॉमन थर्टीन कॉस थीटा फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू टर्म्स एंड फाइव फ्रॉम सेकेंड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ टर्म सो वी विल गेट अवर फैक्टराइजेशन फाइव कॉस थीटा माइनस थ्री टाइम्स थर्टीन कॉस थीटा प्लस फाइव इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ वी कैन यूज प्रोडक्ट जीरो रूल सो वी आर गोइंग टू गेट टू इक्वेशन आइदर फाइव कॉस थीटा माइनस थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो और थर्टीन कॉस थीटा प्लस फाइव इक्वल टू जीरो सो विल बी एबल टू फाइंड टू वैल्यूज फॉर कॉस थीटा थ्री ओवर फाइव एंड माइनस फाइव ओवर थर्टी लेट मी राइट हेयर थ्री ओवर फाइव एंड माइनस फाइव ओवर थर्टीन दिस इज इक्वल टू कॉस थीटा Now we have to check which cosine theta we are going to accept and which cosine theta we are going to reject. So I will use equation number three. Let me write here three cos theta. This was equal to seven plus one over r cos theta. Now I will consider cos theta equal to three over five. Let's put here. We will get three over five equal to seven plus one over r, and cos theta in the denominator. So we can write five over three r. So five over three r will be equal to three over five minus seven. Three over five is one proper fraction, and seven is bigger. So we are going to get r negative. R is negative. We are going to reject cos theta equal to three over five. Let's check cos theta equal to minus five over thirteen. Also, using same equation, we can write minus five over thirteen equal to seven minus. We'll flip. We'll write thirteen over five r. So from here, thirteen over five r will be. Seven plus five over thirteen. Summation of two positive numbers will be positive. So R is positive. We are going to accept cos theta equal to minus five over thirteen. Accepted. Rejected. Let me write here cos theta equal to minus five over thirteen. Now we can use strict formula to find out sine theta here. Sine theta will be equal to square root one minus cos square theta. So I can write square root one minus cos square theta. Minus square is plus five square is twenty five. Thirteen square is one sixty nine. Will be equal to square root of One sixty nine minus twenty five divided by 
169 will be equal to square root of 144 over 169. 144 is 12 square, so in numerator we will write 12, denominator will be 13. So I can write here sine theta equal to 12 over 13. Now we have to find out x and y. So let me write our original equation 1. The original one, so I will write x over square root of x square plus y square equal to 7 plus 1 over x. So here we have 1 over x. And left hand side was x was r cos theta over r. So cos theta. This is cos theta. So from here I can write cos theta minus 7 equal to 1 over x or x will be equal to 1 over cos theta minus 7. Cos theta is minus 5 over 13. Here it is. Let's find out x. So x is equal to 1 over cos theta minus 7. And cos theta is minus 5 over 13. So we can calculate the value of x 1 over minus 5 over 13 minus 7 will be equal to 1 over minus 5 minus 91 minus 96 over 13. Now we have to flip denominator fraction. We will get minus 13 over 96. So our x is ready. Now we have to find the value of y. We will use original second equation y over square root x square plus y square was equal to 4 minus 1 over y. So 1 over y we have to calculate and left hand side is r sin theta over r sin theta. So I can write from this equation 1 over y will be equal to 4 minus sin theta. So y will be equal to 1 over 4 minus sin theta. Now we have to plug in the value of sin theta. Sin theta was 12 over 13. So we will write here y will be equal to 1 over 4 minus 12 over 13. Value will be equal to 1 over 52 minus 12, 40 over 13. So y will be equal to 13 over 40. So we have our answer x comma y will be minus 13 over 96. 13 over 40. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.